What's up, guys? It is Jonathan with One Big Impact. So, little update, okay? Which is funny because you're probably going to get a bunch of updates today. I'm all over the place lately. So, it's official. I'm going low carb. <laughs> I am currently, so you're going to be able to watch a process of low carbohydrate. Now, the only thing I'm going to put in a twist is something that my nutrition teacher told me about uh, five years ago, something like that. She said, it's a good idea to refeed once a week. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to refeed once a week and I'm going to, I don't want to call it a cheat meal because I really want to focus on it being carbohydrates. I'm going to try to put it on my biggest lifting day of the week, whether it's, I may, I may do sometimes on deadlift day. I may do some days on squat day. Just depends. Usually I feel like I can grind through deadlifts pretty easy. Squats may be the one I do it with. Now, <clears throat> well, I am starting at about 270 pounds roughly. So I am, I don't know. I think I ran the marathon at like 235, but I got all the way down, all the way down last year, last year so many months ago, 11, 10, 11 months ago, whatever it was, to 205. So I'm 65 pounds heavier than that. Now, granted, I was pushing with like uh, doing the sauna and stuff like that. So realistically, I was probably sitting around 220, um, but that's definitely 50 pounds heavier than that. So it's time to get my ish together. Um, I keep fighting back and forth with this, but the reality is my cravings are absolutely out of control and I'm having a hard time with that. So I'm going low carb. I actually ate my first meal. It was two eggs and a tomato, which was disgusting, but I ate it. And you're going to probably see some weight dropping really quick. One of the main reasons that I'm wanting to do this is because I just don't feel comfortable bigger. Yeah, I'm strong, but my rage of motion is affecting me and my knees have been killing me lately because I'm trying to get outside and get more active. But let's just be completely honest. I got to get my weight down because it's just starting to affect me in a lot of different ways. Now, I will be helping you along the process with things that I'm doing. So basically, I'm not worrying about calories or anything right now. I'm just kind of uh, diving in and I'm going to be worrying about um, just following my macros. That's it. You know, 70% fat, 25%, 20 to 25% protein, and 5% um, carbohydrates. Uh, that being said, I do have some carbohydrates left to me today <laughs> from yesterday, probably. Um, I would imagine. And I'm going to utilize that and get rid of that probably during squats sometime early this morning. It's about 4 a.m. on 11 26 20. It's actually Thanksgiving, which is funny because that's the day I'm starting. Because I don't really care. <laughs> I, I am eager to see some change. Um, well, I will say what I'm going to do for the first week or so is I have some meat sources. So I'm going to incorporate like I have pork loin and then I have um, some tilapia. So I'm going to use those as my meat horses until I use them up and then I'll dive in and get a little bit further. So I'm going to write on the calendar uh, when I'm starting. So I'm starting Atkins 20 and that's going to be today. So in seven days I will have a cheat day. I call it a refit day. I don't really want to call it a cheat day. But basically a day where I get a little break. I may even go a little bit longer than that. It depends on how I feel. I would like to do it like once once a week or once every two weeks or something like that. But I really got to get my body fat down. I really got to focus on overall health and fitness at this point. Um, I want to get outside and get more active and start doing stuff. So... I really want to stay focused on making sure the weight comes down. So I'm just sharing what I'm doing with you guys. Um, you don't have to do that. That's fine. It's up to you. But just a quick little update. Wish me luck. If you're new here, check us out on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for Healthy Life. Have an amazing day.